that uh, was put on Biggie case was the same cop, Russell Poole, that blew the Iran-Contra out the water. Wow. Caught, caught the CIA in South Central L.A., and that's how he got to be called L.A.'s top cop. That's why they gave him Biggie case, because he was wow. L.A.'s top cop. Wow, that makes sense. I'm I'm gonna do a uh, a documentary on on, uh, on Big Meats and how how they the CIA really was they they knew who he was. They've been they they really was mad that well really the, the killer clowns really took him down and he didn't even tell on them boys. He didn't even tell on the alphabet boys. He took the whole he took the rap and, and took thirty. Go ahead. He he he, he wasn't he wasn't in there to tell. Big Meech, Big Meech is a he's he from a certain area that teach guys a certain way to move a certain way. Right? He need to take the silver lining out of this sewer drain and then he got to figure out how to apply it to his life mission. Teach these boys how to live with this money without killing each other all the time. You know? You got notorious groups like YBI had infighting. You had the Pony Down, they had infighting. Best friends, they start killing each other. So he looking at this growing up and he was like, ain't none of the OGs telling these guys it's enough money for all of us to get rich if we move in a certain way. If we understand that this money don't let it go to your head because they could take it at a moment's notice. Right? But while we got it, this is how we gonna live. They don't never go, go into all of the uh, uh, how he was getting people off the street, dudes that was 14, 15, 16, 17, runaways, homeless, can't get along with their family, falling out with the neighborhood, and all of a sudden now they can go back and have a conversation with their parents. They can go back and mellow out the beef in their hood. All this is Big Meech was doing in real time, but they only want to focus on the so-called dope dealer side. He wasn't using that money just to line his pockets and to be selfish with it. Uh, he gave it up. <laughs> Them, them boys will tell you that if it was a car in the driveway, the one on the end, give me the keys. I don't care if it was a Lamborghini, Ferrari, a Rolls Royce. It's the one on the end. I need to go to the whatever I'm got to go do. Give me the keys. Hey, and they don't, they want to argue with you. Oh, no, you can't, drive the, you can't drive the Porsche. Go get the Mustang. They wasn't doing that. Nah, no, they weren't doing it. Everybody got he a Ferrari. Was, you were a big beach. Everybody got a Ferrari. Right, because he's Ferrari. telling them that mm -hmm. ain't nobody bigger than all of us together. Mm -hmm. Ain't no big guys and no little youths. If we a team, we a team, and we gonna mm -hmm. move like this. Mm -hmm. Right? It's He ain't the only one that was doing what he was doing, but he was just better at it than everybody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want the best person for the job to perform the function. Mm -hmm. Growing up, mm -hmm. seeing what he was seeing, he he don't like it. And how do you know he don't like it? Because he adjusted and made a compensation to correct the problem. With the other OGs that came that he came up under didn't never correct the problem. Then it falls on the next generation to solve the problem. Beef is inherited, even if it's a spiritual beef, which is the one we fight. If you find somebody squeaky clean to be our leader, can we please go find him so I can go sit down? Hey, right, Rod. Hey, find so some, yeah, find ahead, somebody ahead. ain't never did no dirt that, that they want to follow, and he be competent to take us somewhere. I'm gonna I'm gonna bag his place so I can disappear. I don't like all this public this this public BS elder. That's this is for the people. It ain't for me. I had right. my life how I wanted it. This ain't for me. This for the people. I'm not. Uh, I just so happen to train myself in a certain way. 
out of curiosity, I wanted to know everything that the enemy was doing. Right. They already had shut the doors in my face because I ain't had no PhDs and I wasn't a member of no secret society. Mm -hmm. Oh, you must. You definitely don't know what the hell you talking about. You ain't got no alphabets. Mm -hmm. They all shut mm -hmm. the door in my face, told me I was crazy. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I just started talking on social media because it was the path of these resistance to get the information out the easiest. Hey, Rod. Uh, before we go to this next question, I need to ask you this question. Now, we know that Jeff Ford, uh, Larry Hoover, and Dr. Malachi Z. York is locked up in the same prison. Um and they everybody uh they they keep posting I think this uh behind what, what you started the three kings walking three kings must walk right uh could you break down on why the three kings must walk go ahead so they came over on the Pinta the Nina and the Santa Maria three ships an Admiralty and Maritime if you want to go from the Admiralty jurisdiction you have to apply the reverse conjure. The reverse conjure of the three ships sailing is the three chiefs walking. It's the reverse of what they did to us to put us in the condition that gets us out the condition. This is why they don't want that's why they don't want us to see them. Right? Because they know if Malachi come home, he gonna give you the whole story. And the, all of the dirty players in the setup. They know if Larry come home, he going to tell you all of the dirty players that set him up. They know if Angel Bay come home, he not finna tell y'all shit. He finna start collecting soldiers from all tribes. I'm just telling you now, he don't want to talk. He feel like he said enough in the 70s that he shouldn't have to say nothing 40 years, 50 years later. That's just how he feel. So in his job, this is why he called himself El Rookin. The rook on the chessboard is the military arm of government. He was supposed to be the law of the land. This is why he was ready to take the, the, the fake government to war. But, you know, it's always some Negroes that throw us under the bus. <laughs> they look like us, but they ain't us. <laughs> right. They not like us. They not like us. Hey, look, let me ask you this, because they, they framed all these guys we already know that was set up. Uh, but the next question they had, because you when when I met you, you came in and you used, uh, I was studying the anarchy stuff, and you came in and say, man, you got to watch Enlil. No, like everybody, because nobody was really talking about Enlil was the bad guy. They were saying Inky was the bad guy. And nobody really was pointing out that, oh, yeah, you got to watch this dude Enlil. He didn't really want the one that's the bad guy. Could you break down, because somebody asked in the uh, chat, they said, who are the Anunnaki and is, is they really for us? Go ahead. The Anunnaki is for the hybrid offspring that's on the earth, period. They only care about them. They call us their Lulu, meaning they servants. We to them, they see us as pets. So when I start going in on the Anunnaki, you know, Inky feelings get hurt, but he know I'm right. So he sent hey, me message Inky. Inky. He, okay, because remember. Okay. Inky, Inky the one gave us all the keys to freedom if we activate certain stuff in the DNA. He did that behind Enlil back. Remember when Baba was saying that um, Inky violated the rules of Anu, the orders of Anu. Right. So he couldn't side with, with Inky because he, he went against Anu also. That's right. because he gave us he gave us what's called ascension potential. The ascension potential is governed by the, by the solar rays. And this is the same that ties into the one drop of blood. All we have to do is learn the required self-discipline 
and learn to bump straight in the, the UV rays is going to take care of the rest. The rays that came in from the center of the galaxy during the Mahertha, the, uh, the Schumann resonance, that's going to take care of all of the upgrades necessary for us to be on the same level playing field with them mentally and spiritually. Right? They never wanted us to have that spiritual development on earth because the earthling natural language is telepathy which means high spiritual power when you're talking about universal uh, description so they already knew that we were spiritually powerful and if they mess around and interject their Anunnaki blood into us it's going to make us more powerful than them and they knew it so <clears throat> Inky went ahead and infuse them with what starts off as the worship gene. But the, the next phase after worship is a self-guide complex. Right? And the, with this, it plays out in your character as an earthling, as an entitlement to have the things that look like royalty of the earth, what we call wealth. So you, you feel like you're entitled to it, but you don't know what it takes to acquire it. You don't know what the steps is because they got all these signs and symbols posted everywhere for a reason. From your ancient petroglyphs to your hieroglyphs to your modern day store sign, all of them is feeding signs and symbols into the subconscious mind. The more of them you see, the more you begin to learn how to interpret the, the language, which is symbolism, which is what I did. When then now you don't have no contracts to tell to hold nobody's secret. You can come and tell the people exactly what they doing. They was using the contracts in the secret societies to keep a lot of the elders quiet under the threat of death. So even in the families when they found out that they were still teaching it in the household he was getting lynched lynchings was not just we're gonna go out tomorrow and lynch us some niggers <coughs> the lynchings was strategic it was key elders <coughs> and people that they talk too much they know too much you get them off the land lest they teach the rest of them Remember, it was illegal for us to be literate. Most of the ones, that, the strange fruit was literate people that wouldn't go for their sharecropping terms. They wouldn't go for their um, um, management agreements. None of that. They, would, they didn't want to do any business with this foreign entity. So they had to get rid of them. Lynching wasn't just racism. We think it was racism. It was warfare. All of the one of the elders that was coming up, they didn't charter them by um, astrology. They know when they coming back. Then they looking at the longitude and latitude. That's why you got to be a good navigator because you got to read the longitude and the latitude of the birthplace. And then you got to read the stellar alignments for the birth date. And then you got certain key elements that you look for for very specific people. They got all this stuff written down in secret societies and manuals and grimoires. <clears throat> the blood magic rituals is the worst one they used on us because it was the most potent. This is how this, the original King Goose spell was done the same way as the Crispus Atticus Blood Right Constitution spell. They did the same. They re reiterated it. So if you break one, you break them both. And Enlil never lost. So we're going to have visitors coming from places that we don't even know exist. Because he's been doing this stuff for a long time. But what Johnny Cash say? You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time. You can run on for a long time, but sooner or later gonna cut you down. <laughs> yeah, I like Johnny Cash. I like some of his songs. 
Yeah. Like, don't yeah. take your guns so, to town. Don't take your guns to town, mm-hmm. Bill. Don't take your guns to town. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, <laughs> hey, somebody got some more questions. Uh, now, it says, uh, so how are we older than the Anarchies? They ask, somebody asked that question. I don't I don't think we are older in our modern form, but spiritually, all of the planets come from prime creator source spirit energy and all of the people organic to a planet was coming with first creation. Some of these Anunnaki's are genetic hybrids of different people that made new energy patterns for spirit. And those were what you call your younger races. Then they figured out that they can make new um, spirit energy by mixing different species to make more powerful beings. And then they learn how to what they call uh, hijack the avatar. How to walk in to the avatar. What's the movie with the lady, uh, the sunken place, put you in the sunken place. Are you talking about uh, that uh, it's called Get Out? Yep. Yep. That's an Anunnaki Kandra magic tool to hijack the avatar when you're in a distant place and you need to do business somewhere else. Yeah, the master teacher talked about that, how these, how these beings can hijack your body. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is what they call demon possession. But the whole thing is, is it's not really a demon possession. It's more like I got an app on my iPhone that matched the app on your Android. Mm. So I can I can tap into your phone, your Android, use it. And you never knew it from my iPhone. And then when you look at your phone, you be like, man, I just had a full battery. Now it's down to seven percent. What happened? Yeah. Because yeah. you wake up, you be still fatigued. People be telling you all of this effed up stuff you did. And you be like, well, I don't remember none of that because it wasn't you. You got a whole bunch of people in prison that that happened to. Right. That's right. <laughs> they, they, they said they blacked out or uh, some took over. Uh, they re- they yeah. went red. They use these terms. Uh, about why or how it wasn't me. Then they come back to it and like they really be feeling like, dang, I wish I could go back and and that wasn't me, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. Hey, somebody asked, uh, what do you think about uh the coming of a black messiah and a, a Christ to save our people? Or do you do you still believe in that factor, or is that even any uh you know truth to that uh, from your perspective? The only Messiah you're looking for is the one in your family. Everybody family got a family redeemer that's coming to, to break the generational curses on the rest of the family. Ain't no one. Ain't no one chosen one. Look, any time a guy told you he chose somebody over everybody else, that's that's some um, divide and conquer. God is not a respecter of persons. Ain't no big eyes and no little U's when you're dealing with the real God. But when you're dealing with demigods or um, men of renown, men of valor who feel like you less than them, they gonna tell you that they was. It's called the. Uh, it's called the uh, the ancient right of kings. Look it up. The ancient right of kings, this is what they're using to justify doing whatever they want to do to you. And you're not even classified in the same category of existence. They looking at us the way that the chimpanzee look at a monkey. They don't see us the same as them. Right? Now, they would be better if they seen us how the chimpanzee and the gorilla view each other because they both know that's a dangerous mother over there i'm not finna go over there because them look the gorilla looking at is too many of them in that troop and the chimpanzee looking at them negroes too big 
right? It's going to take the whole, I mean, we don't know what the loss is going to be when we get done. They tell us the giant stories, but we didn't live in every potentiality that you can think of. That's why you can think of it. <clears throat> you already did it. If you ain't never done it before, <coughs> you can't have a prophecy about it. <clears throat> but we in cycles within cycles. We're trying to flip out the infinity loop. Right. When the spiritual energy and the physical energy is closest together, we can make the flip. That's what happened at the Mahurta. Right. All of these different names, that's titles. People don't understand that some of